Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will be installing and configuring print and document services on Windows Server 2019. First of all, we need to open Server Manager Console, and for that, I'm going to click on the Start button, and let's click on Server Manager. First of all, we need to install print and document service server role on our local server, and for that, I'm going to click on Add Roles and Features. Click on Next. Rule base and feature base installation. Click on Next. A server is there. Click on Next. And here I'm going to select Print and Document Services. It will ask us that it needs certain additional features. Let's click on Add Features. Click on Next. Next again. From Select Role Services, as of now, we are only going to select a Print Service Server role. Click on install. After print and document services install on our server, we need to click on a close button. Now let's open print management console by clicking on tools and by clicking on print management. Let's maximize the console. Right now we are not going to use filters, so that's why I'm going to click here. Let's click on print servers and expand it. Let's click on our server name. As you can see, server 2019 local server is listed as a print server. Here we have a plenty of options. All your drivers will be listed here. Forms will be here. Ports will be here. And here your printers will be displayed. As you know that we are using Oracle VM Virtual Box for this lab guide. And that's why we don't have any physical printer. So let's add one new printer to our printer server. For that, I'm going to right click on printers and let's click on add a printer. On first console, it is asking us that what type of printer you have. Suppose if you have attached your printer to your server, that time you need to select this add a new printer using existing port that is LPT port, which is also known as a printer port. Click on next. Here we are going to select install a new driver. Click on next. From this console, you can select the printer. In this lab guide, we don't have any physical printer and that's why I'm going to select a generic MS Publisher color printer. Click on next. You can give the printer a friendly name so other people can easily identify it. If you want to share this printer from this console, you can select this checkbox which is selected by default. If you don't want to share this printer as of now, just simply clear the checkbox. Click on next and click on next. As you can see, driver installation is completed successfully and printer installation is completed successfully. Now, our printer has been installed successfully on our local server. If you want to print a test page that time, you can select this checkbox and click on finish. If you want to add another printer to your print server, you can select this checkbox. That we are not going to do. Let's click on finish. You can see our printer is listed under printers MS Publisher Color Printer. Suppose if you want to add a network printer, at that time you need to right click on printers and select add printer. This time you need to select add a TCP IP or web services printer by IP address or host name. Click on next. Here under type of device, you need to click on this drop down menu and you need to select a TCP IP device. Under host name or IP address, you have to specify the IP address of your network printer. In my case, I am providing 192.168.0.11. Remember, I don't have any printer on that given IP address. We are just going for the testing purpose. In your case, you have to provide the IP address of your network printer. And this time I am going to clear the checkbox because we don't have any printer on it and that's why we don't want to auto detect the printer driver as well. Click on next. So as you can see, it is try to detect that printer on a given IP address and definitely it is not able to detect it because we don't have any printer on that given IP address. After waiting for a few seconds, you will receive this message that the device is not found on the network. On the device type, we are going with the standard and generic network card. You can choose based on your printer. Let's click on next. Okay, we are here we are going to install a new driver and that box is already selected. Click on next. This time I'm going to select a Microsoft Manufacturer and here I'm going to select 
Microsoft PCL6 Glass Driver. Click on Next. If you want to share this printer, here we are going to select this because last time we have selected to do not share this printer and that's why that box is not selected. Let's remove spaces between the share name. Here you can provide location information and description or comment about your share printer. Click on finish. As you can see, that printer Microsoft PCL6 class driver is also listed under printers. Now how we can share any printer which we have added to our print server. Earlier we have added this printer, MS Publisher color printer. Let's share this printer. For that, we need to select the printer, right click on it and we have to go to the properties options. Here we are going to click on sharing tab and select this share this printer on this console you can provide a name to your printer and we also want to list this printer in active directory so our users can easily look at that shared printer let's select it click on apply and click on ok now let's go to our windows 10 client computer and we want to see that whether our client can access this shared printer or not from our print server. This is our Windows 10 client computer and on this computer already we have logged in with the credential of our domain user Jroot. Let's click on settings. Let's click on devices. Click on printers and scanners. And to add a printer we need to click on this plus sign. As you can see, it is looking for printers in our active directory and our MS Publisher color printer is listed here. But as you can see, we have a one more shared printer, Microsoft Class PCL6 Class Driver, but it is not listed under this console. Why? Because we haven't listed that printer in active directory. To connect to this printer, we need to click on it and we need to click on add device. As you can see, it is connecting. And after successful connection, it will start installing driver related to this printer on our Windows 10 client PC. Now what happened if our printer is not listed in Active Directory? How we can connect to that printer? For that, we need to press Windows R key, type double slash, and your server name which is server 2019 in our case and press enter key. Your printer will be available here if it is a shared. Right click on that printer. And click on connect. Done. Let's close this console. And here you can verify under printers and scanners, you have two printers connected Microsoft PCL6 class driver on server 2019 and MS Publisher color printer on server 2019. Let's click on MS Publisher color printer and click on manage. Here, certain options are there. If you want to open printer's property, that time you can click on this a print properties button. And settings related to that printer will be available to you. Let's close it and let's close this console. In this lab guide, we have seen the steps to install and configure print and document services on Windows Server 2019.